National Cornbread Festival is coming up right around the corner, and Chris Stubblefield is here from Lodge Manufacturing to kind of give us a little bit of an overview of what we can expect. But before we do that, Chris, we're going to get into a recap of what you did here earlier this morning. You had a hardcore job helping Jamal Kay and I put together our own unique twist on cornbread. You all did the work this morning. What was, your, what was your take on what we made? I thought it was fantastic. Uh, the, the scope of the cornbread that was made this morning was wonderful. Um, we did a bacon cheddar cornbread, right. jalapeno. Uh, you made a stellar uh, banana cornbread. The banana was subtle. I liked it a lot, uh, and you could really cornbread became you know more of a star of the dish. Right. Um, and then uh, Jamal made our winner uh, the uh, the New Orleans style uh, bread pudding. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It had cornbread <laughs> in it, but it really it had whiskey, cornbread, right? So, and it had whiskey in it yeah. also. Hey, uh, you've put together something here. You did this for us a couple of weeks ago, and we liked it so much we wanted you to come back. We're going to talk a little bit about the Cornbread Festival here in yeah. just a moment. What are we making here this morning? Today we're going to be making cornbread Cuban sandwiches. Mm -hmm. uh, this was uh, one of our finalists last year. Uh, if you tune in next week, we'll be making the winner. The um, winner. Yeah, the winner of right. last year's uh, festival. But this is a Cuban corbin, uh, cornbread sandwich. Let's get started. Let's do it. So basically, we got two packets of Martha White cornmeal. Same flavor? Yes, uh, buttermilk. We got okay. some buttermilk, just in case there wasn't enough. Um, we have two eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. And some corn. And yes, this is cream corn. Mm -hmm. Straight out of the can? Straight out of the can. Okay. Eight ounces. No uh, doctoring so or anything with it? Nope, not at all. All right. So basically, we're going to whip this together really quickly. All right. We've got a preheated skillet right here. And this is a hot skillet. Yep. Um, hopefully it hadn't cooled down enough. Now, why um, do you do a hot skillet as opposed to putting butter or lard or whatever on a cold skillet and then putting it in the oven? Well, uh, one of the things you want is you want to make sure that the, that the uh, oil is evenly spread around mm -hmm. the skillet. Right. Um, also, that initial sizzle. Uh, that makes sure that, uh, that we get the browning that we like. Mm -hmm. It's probably not as hot as it was um, this morning. Right. Um, but don't fret. It's going to be great. Oh, um, <laughs> I have no doubt. This um, one you'll like. Yeah. <laughs> so we oiled the skillet, um, mm -hmm. and now we're going to throw it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Right. How do you um, know when it's done? How do you know when cornbread is ready to come out? Really, uh, uh, look for the browning on the top. Mm -hmm. um, you can do a cake tester, you know, just put a toothpick in. If it comes out cleanly, right. then you're good to go. Um, but you can also see it pull around the edges mm -hmm. um, of, the, uh, of the skillet. All right. So <laughs> we're going to pretend like we put that in the oven. All right. Let's All right. pretend like we took this one out of the oven. Nice. So over here we have our mojo sauce, right? So we have pulled pork, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, that one's not as hot. Um, move this, we have build it right here. Build it right here. Um, so in our mojo sauce, we have uh, olive oil, we have uh, pepper, we have uh, red onion and cilantro and jalapeno and some garlic. We just let that take a trip through our, uh, our food processor, mm -hmm. and we came out with a sauce that looks like this. Um, then we mixed it up with our pork over here, and Chip's going to take care of that for me after I'm going to lay down our first layer. Which uh, is? This is mustard. Just plain mustard. Oh, yes, sir. And you can get creative. You can use Dijon. You can use Poupon. Whatever you like with this, right? Absolutely. All right. Now we're going to toss some pickles down, and then you're going to hit it with, uh, actually. You uh, like pickles, don't you? Ah, uh, you know, everybody I gets. Look. Everybody we're going to do it. Just go ahead and put some pickles Boom. on it. Boom. I not? like it. All right. Now you got to have now, some ham. Ham. Just about every Cuban dish has got ham or pork in it. Absolutely. We like lots of ham, so. I'm going to throw this right on here, and then you're going to spread on our pork. This is our pork with mojo. You have to be neat about this? Not at all. Not at all. That's a beautiful this thing. This is Chip's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Chip also has to clean it up. <laughs> all right, so how much is this altogether volume-wise in this container? A quart? Uh, that is a quart container, yes. All right. Um, so uh, you can use as, as much or as little as you want. Um, now, perfect. we're going to use the whole <laughs> thing. We're going to use it. the whole thing. I love it. Now we're going to top it with cheese really quickly. Okay. Let me grab that from you. Um, so this dish was a finalist in the Cornbread Festival last year. We've done a lot of recipe vetting this year. It's been wonderful. We got to work with the fine folks at Chattanooga State Community College mm -hmm. uh, in their culinary department. Right. Um, and just really had fun vetting dishes. Um, so now. Here comes the hard part. This is the topper, the piece de resistance. Bam. Boom. That's the top of there our sandwich. Go. And then butter, right? Because who doesn't like butter? you got to have a little butter. Absolutely. Swirl that all around. Now, do you top anything with this? 
that, uh, so we put a hot skillet in the oven, and we're mm -hmm. going to lay a, lay a skillet on top just to smoosh that down a little bit, right. like a panini. And this is what you have when you get through with all that. This. I'm going to hold this up so you can see the branding. <laughs> like there's only, Absolutely. Like so there's we took a skillet, a hot skillet, and laid it on top, so then we, we branded it Lodge. Like there's any other brand of cast iron skillet, right? So this is our final dish. Uh, beautiful. Uh, it really showcases cornbread in a unique way. It certainly but does. But cornbread's still a, a star of the dish. And this so. will feed five or six people right, easily. Yeah, easily. It easily. Is, Unless uh, you're in my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely filling and extremely good. You can top it with some jalapeno peppers, some red onions. Uh, just really let your imagination yeah, run Absolutely. Wild. All right, Cornbread Festival particulars. You can find this dish and many others like it coming up when? Uh, 20, April 28th and 29th, all of the information from the festival is on nationalcornbread.com. Mm -hmm. um, this cook-off uh, will be at 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to do a staggered start uh, this year. It's going to be more like chopped style. Right. Uh, which we're really excited about. There's going to be a lot more action this year going on. Uh, we'll be announcing the winner at about 2 o'clock. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we'd love to see you all out. It's a weekend full of fun out in South Pittsburgh. The National Cornbread Festival going on for how many years now? Uh, 22. 22. 22 years. years. Full details are available at nationalcornbread.com. That's nationalcornbread.com. Chris, thank you.